If you're an online brand or business, should you be opinionated about stuff online? Will it affect your business or is it a good thing? I'm Natalie Lucier, founder of Access Ally, the most powerful WordPress-based online course and membership solution for scaling entrepreneurs. So this is a question that comes up for me every now and then because I am a very opinionated person. And I think a lot of us are, right? We have information coming at us 24 seven. We have news, we have things that are happening in our industry or around the world. And we feel strongly about some of those things. Maybe you are against something Thing or for something, and maybe it's something in your particular industry that you really want to talk about and bring to light. And there have been many cases in my business where I either held my tongue and sat back and decided not to say anything publicly, and other times where I just decided to go for it and address the situation and share my opinion on a topic. And I will share with you the pros and cons of really being opinionated online and how it can affect your business. So the first story happened a few months ago. So on our website, we have an equity statement that we've made where we say we believe that Black Lives Matter, we believe in equity and diversity and all of these things that we so believe strongly and that are really important to us as a company, as our values. And we had someone email in to our support channel and basically they said, hey, we're not gonna do business with you because of what you shared on your website. And my first thought was, great, that's a good thing. That equity statement essentially filtered out people that were not a good fit to work with my company. And if they don't believe in equity, if they don't believe that Black Lives Matter, you know what? They're not a good fit as clients of ours. So that was an interesting experience. I thought it very interesting that they emailed in to tell us that they're not going to work with us for this reason, because it really kind of woke me up to how people respond to things and also how politicized a lot of these ideas have become. So depending on where you get your news from, that might be a very strong and negative negative statement or a really positive and encouraging statement. So it's a really interesting thing to have received that feedback and also to know very strongly in our core that yes, we made that statement for a reason. And if it's filtering people out from our customer base, that's a-okay with us. Now on the flip side, we've had customers who have said they are going to be loyal to us forever because of the types of statements that we've made. So in 2021, I decided to do an email experiment where I would write a quick daily email with my strong opinions that I generally don't post publicly. And some of them were about the crypto marketplace. Some of them were about how we hire people and how we pay them. Uh, some of them were about online learning. There was just so many different facets that I had opinions about that I wanted to share. And we got these amazing emails where people would respond back to my daily emails and say, you just won the internet for today and I'm going to be loyal now because of your stance on this topic. So it's absolutely possible to magnetize people or to energize people around a topic if it's a little bit controversial or if you have a really strong opinion about it. So as you can see, it's possible for it to bring the right people and also repel some of the not so right people and it can definitely help your business grow. Now, should you be doing this in your business? Is this something that you need to bring into the way that you market or the way that you brand yourself and your company? Well, that's a really good question and it's not a question that I can answer for you, but it's something that you'll want to consider if you want to be a quote unquote thought leader in the world. And I say that with quotes because sometimes you might have opinions about things in your marketplace that are super important and valuable and need to be said. And unless you're willing to step out there and say them, then things will stay the way they've always been. So sometimes you kind of are forced to step into that direction and really do something to stand out and you know tell people who are considering maybe your competitors or other alternatives why you're different and why they should choose you. So there's definitely benefits to that. Now, if it is about politics or other things that don't quite relate to your brand, there might be times where it makes sense not to talk about it. And I've definitely made those choices at some point too. And so I want you to really think about this. Is it okay in your business to hold tight to certain things that you don't wanna share publicly? And when is it a good time to share your opinions very publicly to make a splash to let people know what your line in the sand is and what you're willing to stand up for and 
what you want the world to look like. So that's my opinionated take on how to be opinionated in your business without ruining your brand or your entire business. Now I'd love to know from you, leave a comment below. Are you opinionated in your business? And do you share some of those opinions that might be a little bit more controversial or not? And how do you do it? And have you had any backlash? I would love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel here on YouTube for more founders vlogs just like this. And then head over to accessla.com for more great content about online course building and membership sites. Now go ahead and watch my next video all about capitalism and entrepreneurship.